Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's such a great privilege to be here. Uh, I would say, 早上好 if I am in Beijing, and uh, but if I am in uh, Taipei, I would say 早安 But what if I am in、uh, Hong Kong? So 早晨你好啊 But what if I'm in France? I would say bonjour, ça va mon ami. And、um, but do you know what if we are in the church、uh, of a、uh, in in an Arab country? What will you say? You will say assalamu alaikum means may peace be with you. Can you say that to the person right next to you? Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Do you know how to say、uh, how to greet back? Is it Malaikum Salam? Malaikum Salam. All right. But what if you're in the African church in、uh, in in Kenya? Let Let me teach you how to say that. Can you can, can you borrow me your right hand and say Jumbo? Jumbo, Jumbo to the person right next to you. Jumbo. Jumbo. <laughs> I remember about a few years ago, I, I revisit、uh, uh, Nairobi again,、uh, and it was, it was it was quite amazing. I was I was in a, a pastor's meeting, and they were so amazed that、uh, a, a a Chinese guy actually greeted them in Swahili. And the Buana Sefiwe, Buana Sefiwe means praise the Lord. You know, praise the Lord in、um, in Hebrew is Hallelujah. So I said, "What is the view? Is the view is on?" And they're like, <laughs> and I pick up a few words、uh, during my time uh, with um, with the Ministry、um, of Operation Mobilization,、uh, which is a, a mission ship to travel around the world. Me and my family were just on board、uh, Logos Hope, uh, the new ship.、Uh, Just、uh, for for a few weeks,、uh, that was、uh, when the ship was in Brazil in Berlin. That was the time I just remind myself about 15 or even more of 18 years ago when I was still relatively younger <laughs> than now,、um, and, and I just witnessed so many great things、uh, when when I was、uh, serving the Lord overseas. But today, I want to share with you a little bit more about、um, what is your story instead of just my story, my personal testimony. And also, we are all involved with his bigger picture.、Um, you mod is、uh, the organization I served for the last seven years,、uh, which stands for United Missions of Taiwan. So, for most of you guys, probably you heard about、uh, some mission organizations like ONF, like、um, Wycliffe Bible Translator.、Uh, maybe you heard about SIM, a few others like YWAN, and many others. They are all our core members. So we we are we we are doing mission mobilization in、uh, in Taiwan and beyond. So、uh, this is my privilege. Everywhere I go, I really have a heart to encourage people, especially the you know the, the younger ones. They have a great potential to serve the Lord wholeheartedly、uh, in His kingdom. You know, the funny thing is, just now we sing all this wonderful, beautiful songs. Thank you for choosing these songs. And but I had, I just have concerns. You know why I have concerns? Because let me just read one of this.、Uh, The lyrics over here I just heard. Do whatever you want to do, and say whatever you want to say, and move however you want to move, and change what whatever you want to change. That is that is a really really strong statement. All right, because that means you know I I I turned around and I took a picture of you guys saying like. Yeah, do whatever you want to change. Do you know how hard it is? <laughs> do you know what kind of commitment it is? But that's great because we have such a great potential, and 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 within、um, God's greater plan, we are all you know in in this big story. So before I continue, I I just want you guys to have this big picture in mind. You know what is the end of it? What is the 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 end goal? Of a, of a big puzzle game. If you are playing,、uh, you know, many pieces, like a thousand pieces of puzzle, and, and you know 
it's better to have a have a picture with you, and you know what is the what's the story, how the story ends. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's not like a movie. You don't want to know the end, or else there was no point of going to the movies. But in the Bible, you know. The end story is in Revelation. It doesn't really matter if it's uh, chapter 5, 9, or chapter uh, uh, 7, 7, 9. It's, you know, there, there, will, there will be one day, we'll be out there, and, and you, uh, you look around and you're like, all the nations, all the tribes, all the languages, everybody was there. And that is what, what God's desire is, and we are all in part of it. And many times we're just saying, oh, where, is, where is my position? What, why don't you do? Jesus is my personal Savior. That's totally right. That's completely right. I don't, I'm not going to against that. However, the important thing is Jesus, Jesus is the Lord, is the way, the truth. But however, we just need to know it's not just for you. It's also for all the other people around the world. For John 3, 16, one of the most, you know, Remarkable uh, Bible verse we, we all know is that for God so loved the world, He sent His only begotten Son. When He comes to, uh, you know, incarnate Himself to become a little baby, that's why we have all this Christmas celebration, you know, uh, uh, Feliz Navidad, you know, we, we have all these beautiful stories about how God Himself come to this world. It's, Yes, indeed, it's for me, me personally. However, it's also for everyone. So, uh, what, 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 is, what is our part? Let, let us take a look. Of um, um, If you have a Bible, uh, just turn to uh, Psalm 67. If you don't have a Bible, uh, you can download it <laughs> from, from your uh, Google Drive or whatever. Um, so, let's start with this. Praise you, God. May all the people praise you. The land yields its harvest, God. Our God blesses us. May God bless us still, so that all the ends of the earth will fear Him. Let's pray. Father, I just thank you for another wonderful opportunity to share that you are hard for your people. And those who have never heard about you, Lord, I just pray for the next uh, 20 minutes that um, we can all be touched, that we can all be alert, 
and we can all be encouraged because you have a special message, not just for those who have a special calling to become missionaries, but and for each one of us here who have this privilege, who have received your grace and mercy in, in, in different ways, Lord, and pray that we can all be part of this bigger story. I just praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. This is my uh, this is my wife, um, my family. My, my son is over there. Uh, he's eight years old. He's turning nine. Um, every time they say he's eight, he's like, "No, I'm almost nine." Was it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and often we look at our lives and we're like, "Oh, you know, when I was." When I was at your age, I, you know, most of us here are like younger, um, like 20s or even younger than that. Oh, I, I remember when I was in the college days, I never think of I will be doing this. When I'm saying, saying this is, I can, I am speaking uh, in a congregation and I'll be using English as the, uh, as, as a language I communicate with people. I was born and raised uh, in Taiwan and all the way through you know, college graduation and, and military service and things all that. Um, and uh, I would never have thought it would be one day uh, I'll be traveling. Brazil last month was my 70th uh, country that I had visited. I'm turning 43, uh, no, 44 this coming year. Um, that's a lot of reps. You know, this is because when I was at your age, uh, was, was, you, know, you know, I had made a decision. And that is not a decision. I don't think that's me, my personal desire, but it also is God led, the Holy Spirit led a decision that uh, I will really, a, um, I will really commit my life to your plan instead of my own desire, my own plan. You know, I was born up in a Christian family just like um, my, our sister Sarah was just share, sharing. You know, there is no one, there is no day that I even even know there is such a thing as, as church or Christian because I was born into that kind of family. However, there, there are always you know, there, there are a lot of blessings if you're a Christian or, or if you're coming out of a Christian family. However, there are also downsides of it. Uh, uh, number one is you have heard a lot. All kinds of topics, you know, uh, you should do missions, and you should be a, a, a good testament, uh, you know, a, a shining light, light and salt in your whatever you go. Uh, you know, how, how, how will you make a friend? Um, and how, how about your marriage and all that. Um, however, it's really challenging that uh, to really accept the fact that God is really in control of every, of every spectrum of your life. Um, so I think the uh, journey started, um, a, a real journey started, like, a, a number of years ago, as back in 2003, uh, I joined the mission, and I had to travel all the way across uh, the ocean and land to where where the ship was at. Uh, uh, the, sh the name of the ministry, of the ship is called uh, MV Dulos, and Dulos is a Greek word means servant or slave. So basically. That's a slave ship. That's the name of the ship. <laughs> and so I have to fly all over to, uh, to Germany and transit to Senegal and from Senegal make another uh, flight to, to uh, the capital city of the very small country called the Gambia. Um, that's where the ship was at. So I traveled all the way with a number of people, the new recruits, and to join the ministry. And that was one of the uh, the first pictures uh, I had, um, we're walking uh, in, in that very city, that's a, the, 
that's a, that's a country, the whole country only has one traffic light. You know, that's, that's just crazy. You know, it's out of my comfort zone, anything I have ever experienced before. Uh, and God has opened a lot of doors and, you know, made me learn quite a few lessons. I don't really have time to get into this. I just tell you three lessons I learned. This, this one was taken up exactly one month ago when uh, me and my family, we, uh, we come back to uh, the new ship. It's, it's still the same ministry, but it's a new ship. The ship I was on, uh, Dulos was, was retired uh, back, uh, about 10 years ago. But this is the new one, it's called Logos Hope. So we, we traveled 35, 30 plus hours all the way from Taiwan to New York, from New York to, uh, um, to, to, uh, to, to Brazil and, and, and uh, Sao Paulo, from Sao Paulo to Belém, that took forever. This is probably one of the furthest points you can get, you know, from, from planet. Um, so that's my son, uh, that was me, my wife took this picture, there was a farewell just right at the quayside and the people, the, the youngsters, and just uh, saying goodbye to their uh, friends. <clears throat> I learned a lot of things. Number one is, you know, you get to know how big God is. I don't know about you, but when I was in Sunday school, I, I, I learned a, a song. It's called, My God is So Big. Anyone of you have heard that before? So strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Do, do. Okay, so <laughs> apparently you don't know that. You know, in some circles, people have no idea. I don't think they have been through uh, uh, you know, all this Sunday school. Uh, I, I don't know why their teachers are teaching it, but anyways. So, so I remember I used to have gestures of my like, God, so big, so strong, and so mighty. But you know, you know what? You don't really know. Let's be very honest. Why? Because for many times, our God is some kind of, you know, imaginary figure, a good friend. And then when you say he's so big, you're you're thinking about Aladdin the genie. You know, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> kind of big. But, but God is much bigger than that. It's not just the size. It's not the power. It's, it's, it, he is way beyond that. He is the God of time. He is the God of, of mankind. He is the God of all creations. That's much, much more beyond just a powerful figure. You know, just to give you an example, um, you know, we are... Uh, <laughs> We are in, you know, on, on that ship, we are an international crew, and everybody can proclaim something like, Jesus Christ is my personal Savior, and I pray to God with my own language, with my own desire, and God listens to my prayers. How crazy that is. Because that is so natural and normal for each one of us. And, you, know, I, you pray in your own uh, you know, hot language. It, you know, over here in this room, it's probably English, Spanish, you know, Mandarin, or Cantonese. Right? Just imagine how hard it is for a person to understand all that language. All right? And so, you know, I, I, was, I was serving in, uh, you know, when I, when I first joined the ship, you know, everybody has a role to play. They, they put you somewhere, at a position on, on that, uh, you know, uh, in that crew. So they saw me, oh, Chinese, man, know how to cook. Then I was in the catering department. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have a team with like 20 people. And, and these folks are from everywhere, all right? So, and every morning we need to wake up like 5 o'clock in the morning, have a short devotion, and then we prepare breakfast for the whole ship's company, right? So. So during that devotion, so we need to uh, close in our prayers, and unfortunately, we have all different kind of language representing over there. So you know, this German guy will pray in German. Danke, Vater, danke, Und we were like, ooh. And it's a French, uh, a French lady. You know, the French is so nice. Merci, Seigneur. And we're like, ooh. And this this Korean guy when he was praying, he was like, Hanani, how much he comes out of me now? Chow and I go, Hanani, go to me. We're like, okay, chill, man, chill, chill. <laughs> so when I pray, I was like praying in Mandarin. People are so amazed. I can speak in Mandarin. It's like, 
感谢主，然后又来鼓，一天哇哇，我来，哎 ，Come on， I learned something， you know， you know， the, but the most amazing thing is this guy from South Africa， you know， and he's from a tribe， it, this tribe is called the Kongsa tribe， and and they speak like Greek and twisting sounds like like this. His name is Viani, and his last name is Q E Q E. So every time was like, so you are Viani, Qui Qui. No 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 no, Viani, Qui Qui. No no no, my name is Viani Qui Qui. No, you are kidding me. So every time when it's his turn to pray, we are like holding it so bad. Yeah. Don't don't let like, he pray was like I'm here to do things for you, buddy. And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> and he was very upset. Hey, it's not funny. I'm talking to God. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to give you some really challenging theological debate on that. But I'm telling you, everywhere we go, it's not like. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you can do that all day. It's, it's in your head now. I know that. <laughs> Everywhere we go, it's not like I'm going. I'm coming here. I'm coming here to bring the gospel. I'm going to come here to save the world. You know, everywhere we go, it's like God is already there. There's already a Christian church. They are always servants of Him. You know, of servants of His and serving wherever we go. We're just we're just lucky to be part of it. That's the very first thing I learned. The second thing I learned is how big the church is. You know, over here you're like in New York. You can see all the all the different ethnic ethnic background、uh, churches. You have Hispanic church. You have Chinese church. You have, of course, English church and Filipino church around you. And even within our church, we are very diverse in in a way, right? So, but but you know, when you think. This is a very diverse church. Try this. When we all get to heaven, that will be a crazy party out there. Seriously, I mean, can you imagine the、uh, all the all these you know our our our, our black brother and sister from the Harlem the, you know gospel church and everything? Yeah, <laughs> everybody. Yeah. And all the all the Chinese people and the Italians are making uh, uh, and food for you know. <laughs> you know let's imagine this is crazy. It, you know the church is it's just way beyond you know、uh, what we think because when we talk about church, often we're talking about the church building. But in the Bible, when you talk about when 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 you talk about the church, it's actually talking about. The bride of the Christ. It's about the whole, whole communion, a、uh, bigger church body. And like a picture over here is a、uh, one of the、uh, Sunday afternoon after we、uh, we finish our church、uh, service in、uh, in Mombasa, which is the biggest、uh, port in、uh, in East Africa and in,、uh, in Kenya. And they took us to、uh, to to an orphanage, and、um, and said we are going to play some soccer games with with some kids. We're like, sure, man. I mean, we are all grown up. You know, it's easy to play soccer games. So everybody put on their jersey, the Brazilian、uh, football team jersey, and、uh, we went up there, and it was like. Like two, three thousand kids, two, two, three hundred kids over there. So it's not a, it's not a football match. It's, it's a riot. It's chaotic, and everyone is like. So there, were, if there is a ball running in front of you, there will be like two hundred kids running after you. Like, no, this is not good, you know. So we just, it's like we are flexible, and so,、uh, so you, you guys are doing,、uh, you know, doing some games with the kids, and so you guys, are, okay. Well, I don't know what you can do, but you can,、uh, you know, be beaten by the kids for ten minutes. That's okay. And, and so, so me, I was doing, I was, I was sharing the Bible story with the kids.、Uh, you know what I shared that day was one of the greatest story that I have ever told. Is the nine nine ships at plus one. So you know that's a that's a really good story to share. You know why? Because like the pit is really flexible. You can count the ship. Right? There's one. And 
92, if it's tiny short, 98, 99. <laughs> but if you had, you need to, you need to stretch a little bit, you can, and that was, the funny thing is, everything I said needs to be translated, because I was speaking, of course, in English, in that concept, in context, and the teacher had to translate for me, and, and that teacher over there was, was, was very nice, and very gentle, and very polite, and everything I said, and, and apparently the kids love it. And they will laugh out loud and everything. So when I finished, I, I went to the uh, went to the teacher and saying appreciation. Thank you very much for your translation. It was really good. You know what she said? She said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> she. <laughs> She didn't even know a word of English. <laughs> She's trying to say like 20 minutes for me. <laughs> you no know, wonder people want to go to Africa and do missions. That's really easy over there, you know? <laughs> so people are like, and, <laughs> she might be saying, you know, this small eyes Chinese dude must be saying something funny. That's giving her him a uh, some encouragement. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> But, however, you know, the, the church is so diverse. The church is beyond what we think. We, we, have, we have keyboard, we got, we got a really good lighting that's re making it really warm here. <laughs> yeah, but you know, often we visit the church, there is no such a thing. You know, there is no music instrument, but people sing out loud. They, they, they just worship the Lord because they just feel like it. You know, we, we we have been to so many different places and, and witnessed, you know, all these missionaries have been spending time, you know, years and years, but there's no converts. So the, the church is like you, me, and my four kids. And, and so so it, it was always like that. However, when you think about the you know the body of Christ, this is much, much beyond these four walls of the church building. So the lesson three I learned is even our God is so big, He's so powerful, so mighty, He is amazing. Uh, even the church is so big, so diverse. However, each one of us can still be instruments that God uses. We, you know, we, we can see ourselves as a, as a very uh, important piece of God's plan. However, we also need to know this is a privilege. We can, we can even, in the, in the first place, experience His grace and mercy. You know, you're, you're, you're born into a, a Christian family. Some, uh, your, one of your friends is a Christian and he, he brought you to the church and you get to know the Lord. Well, that's, that's Holy Spirit led. That's not something well, just I plan for it. When I was when I, when I was born and I make a decision, I need to become a believer. There, no, there's no such a thing. It's, it's all God's work. And also when you serve, uh, it's like how, how, how privileged we are and we can also uh, be part of this bigger plan. This is, the, this is a picture that was taken uh, a few years back. Uh, that was my team. Uh, and we are all in this uh, cell phone era, and you can see we are working really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's the big story? When when we talk about a big story, we are talking about a, a story that contains every person's personal story, and it, in the history of mankind, and it's all involved with that. This picture was taken actually a few, uh, just a few weeks ago. I, I, I saw it on Facebook. Uh, I was friend with this, uh, this old missionary, okay. this one over here. His name is Ron, R-O-N, Ron. Ron has spent over 20 years in, right at the border of Uganda and Kenya. This is one of these places, it's one of the most remote areas on this planet. There is, there is no running water, there is um, there's no electricity, um, but there is Wi-Fi. Uh, but there, there, there's satellite, some kind of you know, communication. But this one was taken um, 
he, he visits a, a, a tribe uh, that had never heard about the gospel before and he established that kind of trust with the leader of the tribe and he went up there and the very first time he played a, 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 a radio, a solid uh, power based radio uh, with the, uh, the, the language of that very tribe, uh, you know, Bible stories. You know, what's the big story? What is, what is your story? Because I can share with you my personal story, but I never had a chance to listen to each one of you. But I believe, you know, we are here, it's not because of incident, it's because God had put us together. You know, uh, one of my good friends, uh, his name is Jason Mandrake. He's an author of the, one of the most important prayer books uh, in the world right now. It's called Operation World. It's very thick, 1,000 pages. It contains all the prayer requests, all the prayer information for every and each country in the world. Um, and he was saying, you know, with all these efforts uh, from, you know, the uh, Wedding Carey and, and James Hudson Taylor and many, many forerunners of us, the pioneers, missionaries, and until today, 150 years, 200 years of, of modern day missions. Still today, we have more than you know, a quarter of the population in the world that have never heard about Jesus Christ in, in a meaningful way. You know, but, so that means the job is big and we, we, there are a lot of things that need to be done. So, so what's next? So what, what about yours? What about mine? What is, what, what is our role in here? That, that, that give us, I just want to close it with, with these few, uh, few pictures of here. What is Michio Day? What does Michio mean? Michio Day means the mission of God. The mission of God is His name to be glorified. If something pleases Him, it pleases our Lord and, and worship His Lordship. And every tribe, every country, every creation on this on this planet, in this world, we'll recognize that He's the Lord and Savior. That's Michel Day. But often, we're looking at the Michel Me. Michel Me means me, my personal desire, my church, which is finished a beautiful church building. However, if you look at a bigger picture where God sits from, from His perspective, you know, we are all in His big story, which is Michel Day. I, I really appreciate this quote from uh, Patrick Johnston, which is the, uh, the very first author of Operation World. About, he, he started this ministry about 40 plus years ago. He was saying, there's a U-shaped void in the Great Commission. What is a U-shape? U-shape means I cannot replace you and you cannot be replaced by others that's your shape so it's not just something you know great commission is not somebody's specific calling and specific uh, gift I say oh he's good at it he's more intellectual this lady is more I don't know good looking <laughs> so, God, I'm here. Send her. <laughs> there is a U-shaped void in this great commission. And the purpose of life is actually finding of that specific void of your shape. And feel it. That is the talk, not just for the youngsters in this room, but also for every and each one of us. Our gifts, our talent, our desire, our passion, and of course, and of course, our obedience. So let us read this again and I will finish that over here. May God be merciful. Are you ready? Go. May God be merciful to us. And 
glasses and cause his face to shine on us. So if he blesses us, it's not because we are the we, we are just so blessed. Thank you, Lord, because I, I'm so blessed over here. No, we are not just a, a, a container of blessings. However, we need to be channels of blessings. That's the message I want to share with you today. I want to invite the, uh, the team, the worship team, to come up here and to sing with us. This uh, is a very last song, which is called To the Ends of the Earth. And just give us, give, give the Lord our very best. And, and we can all be part of His greater story. Let me pray and finish and we can continue. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this day. What a beautiful day. Adore the day you have made. And thank you, Lord, for being uh, such a blessing uh, into our lives because our parents, because our friends, and that's the reason we're here today. However, Lord, I just pray and we just pray that, that you can lead us to a greater purpose and to be part of your great commission and we can be uh, witness to the nations near and afar. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.
this to share your good news. We started from here, from our home, from our life. May we be the storyteller because we already have a story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, with the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, our God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all for now and to you forever. Amen. Amen. Before you sit down, say, You have a story to tell. Okay. Now, please have a seat. Please.